right, Wolfpack Nation, we are back here once again for part two of our interview here with Brim Broussard, the executive director of the Wolfpack Club. If you haven't already checked out part one, make sure to go check that out first. As again, we kind of get a little bit of background again in terms of you know what what Bob what brought Ben to NC State in the first place. Talk a little bit about Pack of Wolves. Talk a little bit about you know just uh, dealing with COVID in general. But now, kind of talking a little bit more about kind of specifics with the Wolfpack Club as well. So you know, one of the things that you had mentioned for sure. Uh, and one of the biggest reasons that we reached out to you in, in, in the first place, really, and, you know, because obviously, you know, Greg, he's, you know, big time Wolfpack Club guy, obviously wearing the Wolfpack Club uh, polo. Me and my family have been a part of the Wolfpack Club for years and years and years. And uh, mm-hmm. again, I mean, what, especially just like you said, with the, with the, the prices being so cheap, um, you know, again, $120 a year per se. Um, like if you if you ever talk to somebody you know because like again you, you talk about pitching you know what what's kind of usually some of the kind of pushback because again i mean you know 120 dollars a year is so cheap you know but but it's just like i because i kind of see the other perspective too where it's like well i don't really need it i have somebody else that can already give me tickets you know power capacity things like that but i mean is there anything else that we can hey, kind of think of go ahead greg no i just want to say ben before you answer let me just give you my, my perspective 120 dollars that's two less lattes a month you get. So just keep it in those terms, right? Because it's not a lot of money. So it's it's not a big sacrifice you have to make if you want to make yeah. it. So Ben, please, please. Yeah, yeah there's there's no doubt. Uh, there's a couple things, right? Um, the marketing that had been done here for so so long was around using the Wolfpack Club as a way to get better parking. Let's just be honest. Um, parking really drives a lot of things here, and I get it, man. We've got a great setup, maybe maybe better than anywhere in the country for the amount of great parking we have. Um, what I need people to realize is that if you love what these young people do for the university, this is how you can support them. This is how you can make sure we have enough money to educate all these kids. Um, for, from my standpoint, right, from my standpoint, I, I we, we, we built the ambassadors program, right, basically so that I could get folks out there to help me find those people that weren't doing it. You know, I was at a caravan event in Charlotte and this young man comes up to me and he was probably 30 years old, had a real successful uh, lawn business. And he said, hey, I like that polo you have on. It was a staff shirt. And he said, uh, how do I get it? And I said, no, nah, I won't sell it to you. But if you go out and find me three members, I give it to you. Right? I'll give it to you. And you I go. think he's got two of them so far. So I'm, I'm going <laughs> to give it to him. But I mean, I, I tell people all the time, and I'm not kidding when I say it, right? If anybody out there goes out and can sign up 10 brand new members for me in the Wolfpack Club, I'll bring them, I'll bring them before the game to run out of the tunnel with me and the football team. Right. And I mean, I, and, and I'm not kidding when I say that, that, that someone that signs up 10 new members for me in the Wolfpack Club, that's exponentially more valuable than yeah. someone give me 5000 bucks. Right. Because those 10 right. people over time are going to grow with us. Right. And so from my standpoint, if you're in one of those tailgates that knows you have a bunch of people that mooch off of your food, beer and parking pass, have them join <laughs> the Wolfpack Club or at least put them in touch with us and let us give it a shot. Sure. Yeah. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I know, yeah. That's a heck of a hey. pitch right there. Um, With the new lights running out of the tunnel, that's pretty pretty enticing. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, so you, you mentioned that initiative, and, and I'm in a bunch of different, um, you know, Facebook groups and Twitter and all of that. And people are always complaining about this, that, and the other about what we're doing or not doing. And my first question to them is always, "Do you contribute to the Wolfpack Club? Because if you don't, take a seat, and then when you start donating, come back to the table and talk to us." Because they always want, you know, the best of this and the best of that, but they don't understand that it takes recruits and student athletes to get there and it takes the facilities and we need to pay coaches. So all of that is required, right? Except if I'm, I'm not mistaken, some of the salary for coaches does come out of the Wolfpack Club. Am I, am I correct in that assumption? No, I mean, we certainly help out for sure. Sure. Okay. Because um, I've, I've, I've seen that question before too. But so the, my point being is, you know, the, the pitch that you just gave is probably the most passionate pitch you can make because, you know, we're all at heart diehard NC State fans. Some show it differently, but I think we can all show it with a couple of dollars. And and um, it's just one of those things where we just need support. I mean, b- bottom line. So um, the different types of clothes, we kind of talked about it offline, but can you talk about the different levels, um, like the three different levels that there are for the Wolfpack Club? Yeah. So, I mean, we, we try we try our hardest, you know, for the, the diehard families to have, you know, the, the junior Wolfpack Club where our little ones can get involved. Right? And we've got a pretty healthy membership there Great. where we do things for them. They get special access. And I, mean, I met someone the other day that was 45 years old and they told me they're excited that they're almost a 50 year Wolfpack Club member. 
And I mean, that's crazy, right? That doesn't exist yeah. in other places. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you awesome. know, and then we've got the Student Wolfpack Club where, you know, you can get access to better seats as a student, but you can start building your membership with us. And then, of course, we've got the regular membership. Um, and like, we've got different tiers. We've got our impact program where you could, you know, you can do more with us if you've got those kind of means. You know, you get invited to more things. You get to meet the coaches. You get to meet student athletes. But we, the point is, is that we have something for everybody. Right. I mean, if you're one of those people and you I mean you're just barely making by, you know, you can't do 500 bucks, 120 dollars. Call us anyway, man. You make an honest effort and give us ten dollars and that's all you can do. Yep. I'm still going to find a way to get you yeah. more involved. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, because what I would say, too, because, you know, maybe to somebody, too, you know, that's saying, well, I can only donate one hundred and twenty dollars a year. Like, what's that really going to get me? Is that and, and again, this is something which which is kind of one of the reasons why, you know, my parents added me to the, their Wolfpack club membership so young is because it's not necessarily how much you donate, but it's also how long you've been with the Wolfpack club too, as well. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, you know, I mean, even though you may don't only be able to donate $120, you know, a year that, I mean, eventually down the line that you'll, that you, you, you can definitely get some great perks out of it, you know, for sure. So that, that's another thing I would push to anybody. Yeah, but else I, but I'll, well. make, cool. I'll make one other point though. And this goes to what Greg was saying a second ago, Please, right. At that point in time, you've earned the ability to raise your hand and ask a question, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, at that point in time, yeah. the one thing that I'll say it does get you is it gets you my phone number, right? I mean, I'll never right. not take a call from a Wolfpack Club member, right? I had wow. a guy call me that's been giving us $200 a year for years and years and years, and he had this big issue, and we were able to get it solved, right? And that's the amazing. reason I solved this issue was because he's dedicated, devoted, and he picked up the phone and called. I love it. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. And so so, so how does it go, too? Because, again, I mean, obviously – Again, there's there's so much left and right, whether it's, you know, again, about, you know, Doak Field, whether it's about, uh, you know, for for football, like, you know, people have been asking left and right for a new scoreboard, left and right for a new audio system, uh, you know, left and right, probably about, you know, NC State football wearing black uniforms like, you know, we're red and white from state. We should be wearing red <laughs> and white only. Uh, so, I mean, like, you know, is there kind of like, you know, a, a, a level per se in terms of like, you know, you have like some, some people that deal with certain situations or like, you know, wh- like how do you typically mm-hmm. handle, you know, a, a, a issue from a Wolfpack Club member like that? Yeah, well, so, I mean, listen, when someone calls and asks me about black uniforms, not a thing in the world I can do for them, right? <laughs> that, that, that is square on the desk of Gregorian, right? And so, and yeah. so there's nothing I can do there. Yeah. But when they ask, you know, I, I was visiting with a guy about six months ago, and he told me, he said, listen, I'm a, I'm going to give a, a pretty good amount of money, but it has to go to wrestling, right? He's like, if I find out that my money is going to football, he's like, I'm going to stop giving you money, right? I, I don't. I don't care about anything else other than wrestling. And, and he's wow. helping us renovate the, the, the locker room mm-hmm. for the first time in 30 years in wrestling right now. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, the football weight room at, at the Murphy center is getting redone for the first time in 25 years based on philanthropic support. And listen, um, give credit where credit is due. A lot of former players have given back and that's, that's an issue at a lot of places. Right. I mean, Jericho gave back Mike, Mike Glennon gave back, mm-hmm. um, you know, some, some, some older guys that nobody would know gave back. I mean, there's a lot of guys, um, yeah. you know, that, that, that gave back as former players to help out, make sure that that thing happened. Yep. Um, you know, we're, we're working on baseball, right? That is your question about the scoreboard. Who's going to address that? I mean, I, 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 I'd yeah. be willing to bet that, you know, within the next little while, right. There's going to be, you know, movement on that. I mean, there's a lot of things that are being worked on and looked at, yep. you know, you wish you could do everything at once, but sure. you know, it's, you, you get, you get, sorry, listen, I'll tell you this too. And this is something to be proud of. You know, I've been here two years now. Uh, we just flipped the calendar on another fiscal year. And we've closed two of the best three fundraising years um, that this place has ever had, right? And it's not yeah. because I'm better than what's in the past. It's just because it, Boo had a mission of some things we wanted to do, right? And we've got out and grinded. And we're going to get them done, mm-hmm. right? And if we can continue to do that, we'll give our young people all what they need so they can succeed and do like our women's cross-country team did and keep winning national championships. Absolutely. So speaking of that, since your, your time here, what's been your most exciting moment um, on the job? Yeah, man, uh, there's been a couple, but I was very, very proud of how we did coming out of COVID. I mean, we could have pretty easily folded up our tent, you know, and went and borrowed a bunch of money and, you know, made it so, you know, the next three generations that come through here are paying the debts of 2020 and 21. Uh, so I'm very proud of that. You know, I'm proud of our impact program. I mean, you know, I, we've raised several million dollars. We've connected a ton of student athletes. We've had over 70 donors get involved in that program. And that's really helping us get some things done that haven't been done here in a long time. Um, yeah, listen, I, I'm, 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 I'm also the sports supervisor for wrestling and I'm proud as can be of those boys. Right. I mean, what, what Pat and them did this, yeah. well, this past several years is amazing. Yes. I mean, think about last year, just for the sake of discussion, did you guys ever see the picture of the trophy display that we took on the, on the caravan this past year? 
Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There, there's yeah. ACC championship trophies everywhere. There's national championship mm-hmm. trophy in there. There's a gold medal. I mean, the year that NC State just had, um, I mean, it's one of the best years in the history, if not the best collectively this place has had. I mean, mm-hmm. it shows that with this institution in this town, with this set of administrators, coaches, and student athletes, you can accomplish a ton at this place. Absolutely. Amen to that. So, so, so I guess kind of my follow-on question, um, you know, your proudest moment now, what are you hoping your legacy ends up being in the next, you know, five years, 30 years, however long you plan on staying here? What, what, what do you want everyone to remember you by? I, I hope that, that there's a point in time that either when I retire or when I move on, that I come back here with my kids or my grandkids and I can proudly say, hey, you see that building, right? You see that flag that's hanging above the stadium, right? Your dad played a small part in that, right? Hey, listen, I've, I've, I've got a little bit of that at Colorado. I've got a good bit of that at LSU. Uh, I would really like, you know, I'm not a, I don't ever want my name to be on anything or a statue of anybody that I know, right? But mm-hmm. if I can sit back and I can say that, you know, that, uh, that 2022 ACC football championship, right? I played a small part in that. I'd be a proud, proud fella. Amen mm-hmm. to that. We all would. Amen to that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Dress-Up Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered, with agents in five offices throughout eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need, offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Dress-Up protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Dress-Up. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. So so we're recording this the day after USC and UCLA announced they're moving to the Big Ten. I just wanted to get your thoughts on what you see as the future of the ACC and where NC State fits into that. Well, so really what you're asking me is, is to, to speculate <laughs> on this, right? I mean, essentially you're saying, what's the lottery? Yeah, numbers? yeah. Because listen, yeah. Right? I mean, as we as we sit right now, right, the ACC is, is intact and is doing perfectly fine, yeah. right? But if on SportsCenter tonight we read that Clemson and Florida State just went to the SEC, <laughs> right? Well, then yeah, now, we got, off. Yeah. now it's a different conversation yeah. altogether, right? So as I sit here today, I think the ACC is fine the way that it is, and I hope that it stays. Mm-hmm. But I genuinely don't know. But I will say this, though, that I know that Commissioner Phillips is on top of this, right? I, I know that Commissioner yep. Phillips is on top of this, that um, I don't think they'll be reactive to anything, that they're on top of this and they've got a plan. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, what that is, I don't know. And where we end up, I don't right. know. But yeah. it, change is coming. We know that. But I don't know that it's going to hit yeah. us as hard as it has other conferences. And and you talk about too, you know, in terms of you know, how Jim Jeff Phillips, you know, is 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 working on. And there's no and there's no doubt that I mean that's that's got to be his number one priority right now because I guarantee you that that's probably he's getting a phone call a minute about exactly that. Um, and, you know, because one yeah. of the things I wanted to kind of clarify, I wanted to uh, ask your opinion about too, is that because I'm sure you've heard this, you know. Uh, this thought before as well but you know because when i said earlier that you know we were spoiled with debbie out one of the reasons i say that is because not only was she very pushy in terms of you know if she had an issue with it she went after it you know whether it was officials or decisions by the acc or ncaa whether it was but he, she would you know be on social media about it you know she would let everybody know about it so every single state fan knew exactly what she was doing what she was thinking and how she was going to handle it. And with Boo, you know, it's 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 just obvious that again, that's not really his thing in terms of you know being very public, you know, you know, in terms of what he's doing. But you know, I know from from things inside that just like you said, that he was pushing very very hard in terms of not only making the College World Series right, but also too with the uh, Holiday Bowl as well in terms of trying to make you know other arrangements, things like that as well. So you know. It, Again, just if you might as well, because again, I mean, there's no doubt that I mean, in, in, in any of our minds at all, that Boo is not the right man for the job. He is 100. percent He's done an amazing job, and he stepped up in such a tough situation, such as with COVID and getting knocked in the teeth with College World Series right off the bat, literally not even a year into his job. Um, but can you kind of talk a little bit in terms of really the impact, you know, that is with Boo, and then for those people saying, you know, Boo isn't saying anything, you know, why isn't he saying anything about, you know, this, that, whatever it is, like. You know, what's your kind of response to that? You know, because I think it, well, it really and, is inside of listen, the, the Go ahead. The, the one big thing I think you're forgetting and you're leaving off in addition to being the AD of the year, he's the chair of the college football playoff committee. True. I mean, you want to talk about yeah. a big deal in our business? Like, 
<laughs> there's a line of athletic administrators administrators that cut off their pinky toe, right? Right. To have that, right. I mean, but we've got that pretty quickly because of you know the respect that he has in our business. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the, the analogy that I would use for Boo is that that old duck analogy, right? Like they're just gliding across the top of the water, and you don't see what their feet look like under the water because they're moving like hell to get where they need to go. Yeah. That's Boo, right? I mean, he, he has a plan for everything. Um, you know, he works really hard. He treats people well in an effort to make sure that NC State is positioned in the best way possible. And listen, let's not also forget, too, the one person we're leaving out of this discussion is Chancellor Woodson, right? I mean, he's, right. you know, Chancellor Woodson is, is, has been on almost every athletic NCAA committee that exists, right? I mean, athletics is very, very important to him, and that's why he hired someone like Boo to do this job. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you're, you're, again, NC State is uniquely positioned because of the institution and the leadership alignment, yep. right, for athletics. But, you know, for, for the people that, that don't know Boo well, um, you know, he was at, a, he was at a, a donor meeting last night two and a half hours away. Um, you know, he, he works very hard behind the scene. Is he different than Debbie? Sure he is, but everybody is. We're all different in the way we yeah, do our business. Absolutely. Um, and I don't think it's a good or a bad thing comparing the folks. They're just different styles. Exactly. But I promise you as the day is long, that man's doing everything he possibly can to advance our mission. Exactly. And, and, and the one story I'll add, and I've kind of mentioned it here before, but I'll say it again is, you know, I ran into him on an elevator up in Bridgeport for the women's you know tournament. And he asked me how I was doing. And I, I would have, I was shocked. I was like, this guy knows who I am, like because of my situation. <laughs> but you're right; he absolutely does genuinely care. Just because he's not, you know, vocal on social media or whatever, um, that's just not his platform. I mean, you know, some people just like addressing things the way they want to address them, and uh, I applaud him for doing it his way. And he's doing it the right way because, like you said, he's being recognized in all these different um, platforms. Um, you know, they don't just put any scrub, you know, give them the AD of the year or put yeah. them on the most important uh, committee in all of college sports. Absolutely. Amen to that. Yeah. So some people like to put pictures of their barbecue on Twitter. Other people don't like Twitter. Right. I exactly. Mean, it's just, I yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And so, you know, another question, too, which I wanted to kind of ask, and this is more of one because, again, it's another thing we hear a lot of. And again, I think that's really been kind of really what these episodes have been about is like, you know, here's what we've heard a lot of. Now, let's try and get these situated. But, you know, one of the things that we heard a lot of as well is that, like, you know, for example, with the Doak Field renovations, you know, you'd heard like a rumor about like, you know, for example, like Trey Turner and Carlos Rodon wanted to donate money. <laughs> But yet they, uh, again, this is rumor, but apparently they would get pushed back saying, well, you can't just donate to just baseball. It has to go to athletics in general. But just like you said, and I, I'm, yeah, exactly. Speaking for you is that, I mean, then if you're, if, if you're getting offered money, just like with the wrestling thing, you're not going to say no to it. I mean, you know, it, it, and this just, it's just smart, smart business, but I mean, you know, can you, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's bad urban legend. I, I don't know yeah. where that would come from, but yeah. uh, not only can they, but we're actively trying as of right now <laughs> to make that happen. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right. And listen, we, we, and we've had former players give back to the project. I mean, a lot of members of the 68 team, including a guy by the name of John Lancaster um, have given back, uh, you know, I, no, I mean, we have sports specific giving right now. Anybody can call me up and say, hey, listen, I only want to support the women's golf program. Right. And if they want to do that it, now, they may say, I want my scholarship dollars to benefit that. Right. And then that'll go into the general pot and then eventually it'll make it to a women's golfer. But mm-hmm. if they say, I want here's a thousand bucks and I want to make sure that our women's golf team gets, you know, extra stuff, it goes in that women's golf account. So, no, that's not true. That's yeah. that's just that's just rumor. Yeah. Can, can I add something to that? If you don't mind, I sure. I, oh, I think it was at PNC Arena. There's a plaque on one of the levels, and it has all of the different sports and the dollar goals. So it's obvious that you know people. You know, there's money going to each of these programs, and there there is goals. So, um, yeah. well, Greg, the, plaques, you, the plaques you're talking about because that exact same plaques are in our office in, in, in the stadium. Mm-hmm. Um, those are the endowments that have support those schools. So like if you said today, gotcha. Hey, I've got a, I've got you in my will for five hundred thousand bucks, and I want it to go to to, to, to football scholarships, right? then that money is going to go into that endowment and never get touched. And we'll just spend the interest off of that. So that's what you're talking gotcha. about right there. Okay. Got you. Thank you for the clarification. Absolutely. And so, you know, kind of wrapping thing, the, this thing up here a little bit, you know, kind of one fun question is what I want to kind of ask to see kind of, you know, what you would say to us, you know, is there anything that maybe state fans, you know, maybe most state fans do not know right now that maybe that you can kind of give a little bit teaser about, you know, something to look forward to in the future, you know, anything that maybe most state fans don't know yet. Well, we're going to – I think you guys saw this. We're going to break some ground over at the baseball stadium here in a couple of weeks. Great. Um, so that's amazing. Great. Um, you know, we, we've – the thing that I tell most state fans that they don't know is I tell them a couple things. One, we're absolutely spoiled with how great our situation is for tailgating. 
you know, the, the, the parking pass yes. that people mm-hmm. complain to me about. I'm like, man, that would sell for $10,000 anywhere else in America. Be proud of that. <laughs> but the other thing I tell them is, listen, NC State fans are the most passionate fans I've ever seen. And I don't mean that just because I work here. It's the honest to God truth. And that cuts both ways, right? I mean, there's no apathy at this university. And the thing that I try to tell people is it's, it, the, it's much better off than you guys think. But because we don't have a football or a basketball championship in the last, I don't know, however long it is now, 35, 30 years, 40 yeah. years, right? We, 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 we sit back and we think that we're not successful. But if I blind resume all Power 5 schools and threw them on the desk and told all the Power 5 ADs to just yeah. shake them up and pick the ones, I bet you ours gets picked eighth or ninth last year, right? I mean, eighth or ninth last mm-hmm. year with the success that we had. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, yes, there's a, there's a lot of great things to come, but there's a lot to be proud of at this institution. Amen. Amen. That is a great quote to end right Absolutely. there. Uh, so, again, thank you so much, Ben, first of all, for joining again. I mean, you know, again, we can't say enough how much, you know, we appreciate all the work that you and the Wolfpack Club put in, again, to to this program that we love so much. And, again, at the end of the day, just like you said, you know, when every single championship, every single accomplishment that this program you know, uh, achieves it's, it's, it's an, it's an all in approach. You know, obviously the Wolfpack club has a big piece of it. You know, the the athletes themselves, the coaches, the fans, everybody has has a little bit of piece of that for sure. So again, just want to say thank you again. And thank you for joining us. Really do appreciate your time. Yep. Hey, without question, guys, it's an honor to be a part of this. I'm very blessed to do it. Thank my lucky stars every day. I appreciate y'all. Yep, absolutely. And, and again, just like we said in part one, there in the description will be all of the, uh, details in terms of how to uh, join the Wolfpack Club if you haven't already. Make sure to go do that again. Super cheap again is as, as little as $120 a year. And again, you know, if uh, if you have any questions at all about the Wolfpack Club or anything like that, please feel free even to message us directly or, or Ben directly or whatever it is. Again, if you have any questions, concerns about it, reach out and that way we can, you know, help explain, help, uh, you know, understand so that way you feel comfortable in terms of what you're getting back to. But again, so thank you all so much again for tuning in. And hey, as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you don't mind as well. And again, give us a follow at Tuffy Talk Now on Twitter or Instagram. But thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, go back, y'all. We'll see y'all soon.